You're watching Retirement Talk with Eric Carney, Southwest Florida's retirement television. He's an author, a radio host, a fiduciary, and Southwest Florida's premier investment advisor. Here is senior investment advisor, Eric Carney. Welcome Southwest Florida to Retirement Talk with Eric Carney. He is the founder of Retirement Wealth Advisors. I'm your host, Spike Spangle. Eric, it is great to see you. Thank you for letting me join your broadcast this Absolutely, week. Spike. Great to see you again. You know, uh, we've been doing so much retirement planning, uh, whether it's through live events, helping people in the offices, and of course, your television program. But there's a phrase that I continue to hear that I, I think I'd like to talk about with your viewers today. We hear the phrase income a lot, and how do we create income in retirement? Yeah. And I don't know, I'm sorry, isn't the whole point of being retired not working anymore? Where, <laughs> where are we starting getting this income from? Right, so I mean, that's the biggest question, the biggest worry, right, our biggest fear. When we're working, we're in our accumulation years. We worry about our job because it's creating that paycheck. But as we creep more towards retirement, we're like, okay, now all of a sudden I have to switch off of this job that I've had for so many years, and now it's my responsibility, or hopefully someone else's responsibility, to figure out where that paycheck's going to come from. So I think that this is gonna be a great show, Spike, because there are a lot of people like, I have, I have accounts, I have this account, this account. Where am I gonna draw this from? How's it gonna happen? What about market volatility? What about inflation? What about taxes, you know? And so people really are coming into the office this year almost out of desperation. There's this migration that people want to get back to traditional financial planning. I really want to understand where I, where I am. I really want to understand the process that I'm going through. So I'm actually excited to go through the show today. I, and I think it's often a, a misconception and to nobody's fault out there. They've done, never done retirement planning on your own. We understand it can be overwhelming and confusing, but yeah. having a 401k current, having one from a former employer, maybe having your own IRA, maybe having some investments, that's not necessarily a retirement plan. No. That's just a, a collection of different investments. But then again, going to that income. So wh where do you start? Chicken or the egg? Does it start with the retirement accounts, the social security? Do we need to generate it on our own? Well, I think the biggest thing is that we always say is purpose determines placement. It's always funny. Somebody's going to walk into the office and they're going to say, what kind of annuities do you have? What kind of dividend paying portfolios do you have? Whoa, whoa, whoa. I don't even know what your purpose is first. So the thing is, is that we want to understand the purpose of your money. What kind of lifestyle do you have? What are your income needs? Do we, are we factoring in inflation? What is your risk tolerance? So purpose determines placement and people now understand, okay, you're actually gonna ask me questions first before you even consider any investments. And you know, when you talk about the chicken or the egg, it's like, let's do financial planning. Like, let's be strategic about this. And there's a lot of people who have been trying to outperform their, their retirement. Mm -hmm. It's not gonna happen. You have to be strategic. You have to plan for this. You have to go through a process. And the more that we invest in you in the beginning, more than likely, the better off you're gonna be. And so, again, I'm so glad that people are returning back to traditional investing and, you know, forgetting about all the get rich quick stuff. We don't want to have anything to do with that. A quick chasing after, you know, high returns. We say there, there's two usually emotional factors that that make you invest a certain way, fear or greed. And the greed one is the one that makes us really nervous right now is pe Absolutely. people chasing after returns. And like you said, trying to trying to beat what you have done. Let's be honest. If you look back at the last 12 or 13 years, it, it was a bull run in the market. <laughs> this we've been spoiled. Yeah. Or this is where financial advisors, though, make their weight in what they do is it's trying to get us through the hard times the bear markets would you first of all say that that we are in a bear market i mean we're certainly in a slower economy we're, we're in a slowing economy people are always worried about a recession look we went through a recession in 2020 it wasn't a big deal most people have already forgotten about it that was over three years ago we got through a recession back then if you don't think that you're going to go through another slowing economy if you don't think that you're going to go through another market correction or a pullback then you're wrong. I hate to say that. There's always going to be ebbs and flows in the market. The markets never go up all the time. They're going to take a break. And you know, Spike, the one thing I always talk about is if we go climb a high mountain sometime, we climb and then we take a break and we refuel, right? Mm -hmm. we, we get something to drink, we get something to eat, and we're resting. And that allows us to reach higher highs. And the stock market really is no different. 
it allows us to buy more shares at a lower price as long as your money manager is prepared for that. So I actually appreciate pullbacks or a slowing mm -hmm. economy to be able to take advantage of that for our clients. But there's a lot of people out there who are suffering. They're not hearing from their advisor. Um, their, their accounts mm -hmm. are down. There's no management right there. They're like, what am I going to do now? So that's where people are coming into our office and they're like, Eric, I need to see you. I've got to get this right. And a lot of times people are moving from another state. They're moving down to Florida and they're like, okay, Eric, we want to have a local advisor. So um, we've been slammed this year more than ever. Right, right. And, and you're talking about those accounts and watching the, the ebb and the flow. And I appreciate what you're saying very, very much. We, we need to rest. People do have the opportunity to buy the market while it is down right now. But right. there's a lot of folks who are in that retirement red zone. Mm -hmm. they're, they're very close to retirement. Maybe they started just the beginning and maybe they're more fearful of it. So I'm going to bring up a word that sometimes brings people caution. And please don't change your, your channel out there. We're, we're going to explain it for you in long form. But what about annuities? Maybe it's time to get out of this market and go someplace where it's guaranteed in the contract. Let's right. tee up that conversation. Well, here you go. I mean, annuities are a conversation to have. Are they for everyone? No. But there's also some people that will never invest in a brokerage account. So there's some people that won't invest unless it's a guaranteed product. So a lot of times, again, when we go through the financial plan, what we're trying to do is build a pragmatic plan. We're building a sustainable plan that is built for longevity, but it's also based on your risk tolerance. So there's a lot of people, Spike, as they get older, they don't want the stock market exposure. Right. So now what we're doing is slowly peeling off of their brokerage account and finding an appropriate annuity for them. And really, there's a lot of really cool tools that we can use. We can actually ladder in an annuity strategy for them. And they're like, I've never been shown this before. Most people are just dumped 500 grand into an annuity and set it and forget it. We're actually creating a financial mind map. We actually want the client to understand your time frame, your time horizon, your risk tolerance, how we're reducing market exposure, and we're showing you with each tool, product, and investment how much income we're peeling off every year. That way you understand where your income's coming from. And I haven't seen anyone else in Southwest Florida that's doing this. And, and I think another aspect of it is a lot of folks, maybe the financial advisor is saying, put all of your money into this or a large chunk of it into right. this, but also the consumer themselves, and I can understand this, they think of their retirement savings as one big pile mm -hmm. and it all needs to be invested the same way. But you just talked about carving out different, what do you want to call it? Buckets or amounts or timelines? We're creating several different income streams. Some are taxable, some are non-taxable, uh, some are in the market, some are made for growth, some are dividend paying, some are guaranteed. Imagine having eight or nine different income streams that you can choose from. And when the markets topple, you can go to something that's guaranteed or out of the market and allow those equities to recover. Look, this is something that we take very seriously. We are money managers, we are strategic planners. This is why we have certified financial planners on staff. We are writing financial plans, income plans, and then determine, determining the outcome of your investments. So people love the process. We're not trying to guess anything. We're, very, we're trying to be very strategic on how we come up with that. So when I build out all of these, this really sets us apart from a lot of the financial planning firms. All right, Eric, we do have to take a very short break right now. When we come back, I'd like to continue to talk uh, about the strategies that you use and some of the common negatives that I hear about folks who use annuities or what you see on the Internet. Folks, make sure that you call so you can get your own personal financial blueprint. It is complimentary to the viewers of the program. But, of course, as you can imagine, we are broadcasting all over southwest Florida, so I'm going to limit it to our first 20 callers. Call 800-779-1942. That's 800-779-1942. So you can get your own personal financial blueprint. We'll tell you more about exactly what that is when we get back with Eric Carney and Retirement Talk right after this. What does your retirement look like? Is it filled with travel, spending time with family, uninterrupted rounds at the golf course, or are you too worried to even think about your hopes and dreams? Eric and his team can answer your questions with a complimentary review of your retirement and income plan, and it all starts with getting to know you. They'll do exactly that by going over your current strategy to expose the weaknesses that may exist in your retirement portfolio. Plus, they'll explain potential risks and possible strategies to you in easy to understand terms and help get you reacquainted with your portfolio and income strategy. 
Once they understand your retirement goals, objectives, and dreams, they'll work to custom build a retirement plan to help ensure that you cannot outlive your income in retirement. Because every dream needs a plan. Call Eric today and schedule your visit. You only retire once, so let's get it right the first time. Welcome back, Southwest Florida, to Retirement Talk with Eric Carney. He is the founder of Retirement Wealth Advisors. I'm your host, Spike Spangle, and we're teeing up as many questions as we can about your retirement wealth and how to do it. And it's it's much more challenging now. It is not the bull run that we saw for the last 12 to 13 years. And right. so we need to look for tools for income. The, the fear for some folks of staying in the markets, keeping their 401ks, keeping their investment accounts where they were. So before the break, I did mention that A word, mm -hmm. annuities. And there, there is a lot of pushback. Let me throw out a couple of things. Uh, they're illiquid. They have really high fees. They have caps. Which one you want to tackle for I me mean, first? Let's talk about the fees, right? Okay. All right. I mean, so we had, we had a doctor come in a couple years ago who had a variable annuity. I want to make one thing clear. We do not sell variable annuities. I do not believe in them. I don't understand the purpose of them. The reason for that is the big V word, variable. Who wants anything that's variable? That's what got us into problems in 2008 with the whole United States having variable loans. So the, the variable is something that we stay away from. The other thing is when you have a brokerage account, that is also variable. When you park a variable annuity next to it, now you have two variable accounts. His fees were over 3.6%. So on a $550,000 uh, annuity, variable annuity, he was paying out $19,800 a year. The other problem was it was stagnant income. Now. Here's where the tide changes, Spike. He came in and I'm like, why did you get this? He's like, I wanted some kind of guaranteed income. Okay. So now what we did was we figured out his income needs. The problem with the variable annuity was it was variable, it was all over the place, it had high fees, and the other problem is once he turned on income, it was stagnant income the rest of his life which didn't factor in inflation. So, it did, so there was no, no growth to it. It was, it was locked into wherever that last contract. That's exactly right. Okay. We were actually able to get him into a product that was 1% fees, which is very reasonable, guaranteed income, and it actually gave him increasing income for his lifetime. So there were three really good reasons why to change that. More importantly, we actually put that into his plan and it worked out in his favor. So a lot of times people are coming in and we are fixing millions of dollars in annuities. And that was a, a great example of a variable annuity going into a significantly better product. Do you mind if I track back a little bit? Can you explain maybe the, the different universe of annuities? Because I know there are some where, where you pay right away and then you start you start getting your income. And then right. there's the, the variable ones and uh, and then there's there's fixed. Explain the differences if you would a little sure, bit. Sure, of course. So you have an immediate annuity. This is something where you pay in and you start to get out an immediate annuity. Maybe it's for 10 years, 15 years, 20 years, or 30 years. There's other ones that we can actually go into, let it accumulate over time, and when the markets get rough, we can actually go into that account. We consider those your safe account. There's also um, other kinds of annuities that are variable, that are tied to the stock market. You don't want those. What you want to make sure is that someone's actually thinking about your situation, your own personal situation, and really building an income plan based on your exact needs. And we're seeing a lot of people who are just in inappropriate products that are not serving their needs, and that's not a good place to be. Not everyone needs an annuity. You know, mm -hmm. and, and that's what people assume when they come in. Like, are you gonna sell me an annuity? I don't know what I'm gonna do for you. You know, like, but the thing is, is that we're looking at sustainability, longevity, and we want you to have a high probability of success when it comes to your income. And let's face it, the older that we get, the more vulnerable we feel financially. So there is that nice safety aspect of a guaranteed product for sure. Right. And uh, can I ask you then about the illiquid part? I often hear that. Are, are all annuities illiquid? Well, here's the other thing. A lot of people, they're not asking enough questions for that client. So what's happening is, is that we're figuring out your time frame. Do you have liquid money over here? Is it okay if some of this is illiquid? Plus, you also have 10% free partial withdrawals every year. So not every annuity, you're locked into that. We're giving you options. But people do want to take a portion of their money, put it into an annuity, and say, okay, this is my safe money that I know that I'm not going to touch for four, five, six, maybe even 10 years. We're just going to accumulate. So again, people are seeing a strategy through that financial mind map and they're understanding the time frame that we're, we're showing them. It's, it's mind blowing, Spike, because 
people can actually see their retirement come to life and they can actually yeah. see their paycheck being created. No one else is doing that. Right. And lastly, I've heard this one, and I, I, I can't remember, maybe this is just on the immediate annuity, that once you die, the insurance money, uh, the insurance company keeps the money. Yeah, so I think there's a huge misconception about there. The annuity company always keeps my money. That's not really true. There's actually a lot of annuities out there that are built specifically for a death benefit. And we utilize a lot of these where someone will say, I'm invested in a CD, and I'll show them, look, here's a guaranteed product that has a guaranteed higher death benefit in here. And they're like, well, that's a no-brainer. I'm going to go there. I want to make sure that I'm passing this on to my children the very best way that I can. Yeah. So again, purpose determines placement. We don't know what we're going to use until we understand what your needs are. Well, you keep saying the we. So please do me a favor. Explain a little bit more about the Retirement Wealth Advisors. Where do these fit in? Are, are you also money managers? What yeah. is maybe the broader scope of everything you do for folks? So here's what I love about my firm, and we've cultivated this for all of our clients. There's a wealth management side. That is, we are pure money managers. We understand how to manage money. We also have a financial planning side who's building a pretty darn sophisticated uh, financial plan and an income plan. And those are updated on a regular basis. The third side of our firm is the concierge ser service side. And I really believe that everyone that has monetary needs, that shouldn't be an option. You need strong client service. So Autumn handles all the day-to-day -day monetary needs of our clients and she does a great job. So then we have this massive back office of hundreds of people that are helping us serve our clients. So it's a very well-oiled machine and it's just worked out great. Fantastic. Um, over the last few weeks, especially as, as we closed out last year, can I just say from your television show, from talking to people, emails and so forth, what are the kind of questions you're getting right now? Were people worried about the inflation? Yeah. Is it the running out of money? Is how do I cover my health care? What's, what's biggest on folks' minds? Everybody, you know, the, the funny thing is, Spike, is we've seen so many things in the economy, and everybody's like, what is next? I mean, you've had terrorist attacks, pullbacks, market corrections, you know. War, pandemic. You know, exactly. Market downturn. Right, and, and how different has everything been from one to another, right? So everybody all of a sudden will forget about how bad inflation was. They forget about, you know, COVID three years ago, and now all of a sudden, it's, oh, what's next? Who knows, but we've planned for it. And that's the whole point of financial planning is to be able to jump ahead and get over these financial hurdles. And people just don't understand what happens all in the background. Like there's a lot of moving parts in the back, in the, in, you know, behind the curtains, so forth, that people don't understand. Like every single day we are fighting for that client to be in a better position. And it's all through st strategic planning, tax solutions, Roth conversions, healthcare, long-term care, all that stuff that's gonna come out of left field. Wow, okay, so I know that for your viewers out there, you will do the financial blueprint. Yes. I know you do that for your clients, but you're saying for millions of strangers out there yeah. who have never seen your show, you want them to go ahead and call in and you'll do a complimentary blueprint for them as well? Yeah, absolutely. There's a lot of people out there who feel like they're in a financial no man's land. Give us a call. We're going to do a full-blown personal financial blueprint. More than likely, you're going to know more about your portfolio than ever before. So give us a call. We're going to get that portfolio. And, you know, the funny thing is, Spike, is they're actually leaving our office with that very own report that was specifically designed for them. All right, Eric, I'm sorry. We do have to take a very short break right now. Viewers out there, please call so you can get your own complimentary blueprint started. 800-779-1942. More Retirement Talk with Eric Carney right after this. What I enjoy most about retirement planning is sitting down with you and having real conversations about your retirement dreams and goals. We specialize in helping people just like you prepare for the retirement they've always dreamed of. Retirement Wealth Advisors with Eric Carney. Hey, Southwest Florida. Thank you so much for watching Retirement Talk with Eric Carney. While we've had a lot of fun doing the show, and we always appreciate your comments, more importantly, we've been able to help out an awful lot of people meet their retirement needs. And believe me, I get it. A lot of you watching today are just as frustrated with the financial industry as I am. But at Retirement Wealth Advisors, we have a completely different experience. By license and law, we're looking to put your best interest first. 
So whether it's a financial plan that you're looking for, you're out there in a financial no man's land, or you're truly looking for a second opinion, please pick up the phone and give us a call today and let's get that conversation started. And remember, strive for excellence, your wealth deserves it. Welcome back to Retirement Talk with Eric Carney. I'm your host, Spike Spangle, and we're talking about how we create that financial income in retirement. We're not talking about going back to work, about how you can create your own income and your income streams, both from your investment portfolios, from, I don't know, your dividends, your CDs, your bonds. Here's one that worries me, Eric. Uh, I want to ask about uh, dividend-paying stocks. I'm yeah. seeing a lot of advertisements for that lately, newspapers, online. I'm worried about seniors chasing after returns right now trying to make up from losses uh, from last year. Concerns about dividends and, and chasing returns? Absolutely. I mean, again, people are trying to perform their way through retirement. And, you know, people also yeah. don't understand how much risk or how much volatility is in a higher dividend paying stock. You know, and, and the, the bottom line is, if you take a look at AT&T, a lot of times they're paying out a 6% dividend, but the stock was like negative six. So six plus minus six is zero. <laughs> I mean, and they get sucked into that dividend. What we're trying to do is, again, take a look at good quality, low debt companies that have strong earnings, that actually make something that are able to pay out a reasonable dividend. And again, we're paying attention to the alpha or the horsepower in the portfolio to make sure that they can get through the volatility. Because a lot of times these high dividend stocks, people don't understand when volatility comes that way, it like smacks it right out of the air and it doesn't survive. We have to be sustainable through a difficult market. And you know, when the markets are going up, everybody's like, oh, this is great. This is the time where a money manager actually goes to work and says, okay, what happens when it's not going up? What's going to happen then? So again, we did a great job with our clients in 2020. Um, There's a lot of communication. Mm -hmm. We had to be tough on our clients. There's a thing called tough financial love, right? <laughs> where you have to say, look, you know, and I'm pretty laid back, but there's times yeah. where I say, look, I'm your advisor, I'm going to advise you. Mm -hmm. you know, and that's where we have to be sticklers about that because we have to stick to our guns. We understand strategies, we have data points, we have data signals, we have constant raw data that's coming in that we're filtering through constantly. And unfortunately, what do you think people are going off of? Gut instincts. Their gut instincts or, or something at a quick advertisement that they're right. seeing online or an alert they're seeing from their phone. Right. Dividend paying stocks are great, but it's a portion of your portfolio. Then throw in something that's tax free, throw in something that's growth, throw in something that's guaranteed. You're creating all these different buckets and you're going to be okay. You know, and, and like I said, this is still managed on a very regular basis, but People love to have options when it comes to that. Right. I wish I could have that that mind explosion emoji right now. Randy, if you could bring one of those up for me. <laughs> because uh, a few minutes ago, you were talking about annuities, and now you're talking about the complexity of, of how you manage money inside right. the firm. So uh, would you explain then exactly what do you guys do? Is it more about wealth management? Is it more about annuities and insurance? Do you also take care of taxes, yeah. health choices? So the nice thing about our firm is we have surrounded ourselves by expert matters. So what happens is if we need a strategic CPA, we have Shane and Chris. These guys are amazing. They're a great team. They're coming in and they're forward thinkers on taxes. The problem with a lot of CPAs is they're looking at history the past 12 months. We're not. We're looking at the next three years, five years, and 10 years. Then we also work with a lot of estate planning attorneys. So again, People want to know that they're coming into us and we can handle just about anything that comes with finances. So when it comes with building the portfolio, we are money managers, but we also have access to so many back offices that help us build what we actually need. So whether it's reducing your taxes, reducing your market exposure, getting guaranteed income, factoring in long-term care or health care, that's what we have to do. So really, again, there's this migration back to traditional financial planning. And I think that that's why we've been so busy, even in the, the beginning of the year. All right, I'm gonna see if I can even throw you a curveball because <laughs> you, you are on fire today. What about our out-of-state birds? Look, yeah. we're in Florida here. We know that we get people who go back and forth. Um, there, there are rules that govern over annuities. There are rules that govern over money management. Right. Uh, what do you do with the folks who are hopping back and forth over state lines? Yeah, that's a great question. So the bottom line is that there are a lot of people that move to Florida. They have out-of-state annuities. They have out-of-state insurance products. What people have to realize is that these products vary from state to state. I come from New York. A lot of these products are actually watered down. There's different rates, there's different features, there's different benefits. 
So a lot of times you could actually take advantage of bringing an out-of-state insurance product into Florida and getting a higher payout or a lower fee or more living benefits. And so a lot of times when people come in, they're like, oh, I also had this annuity from Illinois. I'm like, oh, let me take a look at that. Or if it's from New York or Pennsylvania. You're right, because New York has, has a lot of limitation. Each state oh. is different when it comes to that. So are, are you saying that there are sometimes better benefits from things that are based out of the state of Florida? Uh, well, I'm not saying that Florida is the best, but what I'm saying is that more than likely it could be a significantly better one. But the other thing too, Spike, is, and you and I have talked about this off camera, is you know, all of a sudden these products get better and better and better and rates have been changing lately. So the caps are now higher. The, the products are getting less expensive and the living benefits the are living getting benefits much better. The living benefits is what I wanted to talk about yeah. because I, I've had this with my family situation. My grandmothers have both gotten older and family did a great job or my grandfathers did a great job, but uh, they're needing to go into long-term care yeah. and the cost of, and they, they didn't have long-term care policies. Right. Uh, but you're saying there are living benefits now inside either insurance or annuity products products, uh, because the standalone policies for long-term care, incredibly expensive today. Right, on the road, right, correct? correct? Yes. So can you explain a living benefit off of an annuity or insurance? Yeah. So there's sometimes, again, you and I talked about somebody putting 500 grand into yeah. one annuity, right? Now, all of a sudden, what if we were strategic about this? And this is where I really separate myself from a lot of other firms. What if we peeled off 150,000 of that, we put it to the side and we deferred that for an impairment rider? This is going to be your long-term care money. And if you don't use it, you can turn it into income. If you don't need the income, it's gonna be a death benefit to your family. It's gonna get used one way or another, but it's the most inexpensive way to pay for long-term care. And so again, be strategic, have an income plan built. We've seen a lot of income plans, but there's no health care involved. The average couple that turns 65 today in 2023 is gonna, is gonna have a $315,000 health care bill. This is separate from long-term care. I know, I know. I, I know. I read the study that you said right on. Yeah. And what you're saying is not just 315000 in bill. This is the cost that we're going to spend out of our own pocket. Right. So whether you're on Medicare or whether you had a plan left from your pension, your own cost for health care, whether it's the on top of prescriptions or paying for the Medicare or whatever other hospital needs you might need, uh, that's separate from the long-term care needs. Correct. So we want to make sure that we get a review for everybody done. Eric, I, I really appreciate all of the conversation on today's program, but we're going to have to cut it off. Uh, if you don't mind, I'll probably come back and join you again next week. I'd like that, Spike. All right. Thank you so much for watching Retirement Talk with Eric Carney. Folks, call so you can get your own personal financial blueprint. It is complimentary to the first 20 callers, 800-779-1942. Thank you for watching. Eric will be back again next week. Hey, Southwest Florida, thank you so much for watching today's show. If anything's resonated with you today or you're really looking for that second opinion, give us a call today. If you're serious about your finances, we're serious about working with you. Remember, you only retire once, so let's get it right the first time. Have a great week and an even better retirement.